Hey guys, so if you are watching this video, chances are you have never gone on a cruise before or maybe you've only gone on one. I'm going to share with you the tips, the tricks, the hacks, anything that is very helpful for new cruisers. So cruising is my husband and my favorite way to take a vacation because almost everything is included in your vacation. So when you get to the port where your ship is, make sure you are early. Because if you are early, they will not leave without you. Because cruise ships will leave without you regardless whether you're on there or not, no matter whether your plane was late. Always or board the ship early and there's so many activities. So when you go there, um, you will get your bags checked in. I usually always put like a bow on my suitcase handle so I can always find my suitcase easily whether it's at the airport or on the cruise ship. It just makes it convenient. Sometimes I'll put colorful ones on there or just really bright ones. And they will give you a card like this. And this card makes it so you can get basically into anything. You can get into your room. You can pay for anything you buy on the ship. As you board the cruise ship, you will run into the main lobby. And the main lobby is big and it's beautiful with elevators and everything. And you will run across amazing works of art from all over the world. Some for sale, some not. Some tips about your suitcase. It will take a really long time for you to get your suitcase. And say if you're itching to get in the water, I would suggest putting like your bathing suit in your carry-on bag um, or anything you might want because it's gonna take a long time for them to actually bring your suitcase to the room. Every day when you go in your suite, they will put an itinerary in your room and that will show you everything that is happening that day. It's very helpful and they will also of course put those cute little animals in your room. Let's talk about seasickness. Um, will you get seasick? Well, chances are you won't get seasick because the boat is so big that it doesn't even hardly feel like it's moving. But there are some cases, like on our way back, um, the water was pretty bad. So I did start to feel a little queasy. So with that, this is what I do. If you're worried about taking Dramamine or something because you're afraid of falling asleep, I would suggest these. These are what I bring so I do not get seasick or motion sickness or any of that. Um, basically, um, the little dot, if you can see the little dot on it, um, presses on a pressure point on your hand and it makes it so you do not get sick. Another good thing to have is a really good underwater camera. Um, you don't have to have it, but oh man, it makes it so nice that you don't have to worry about if you go in the pool or if you get out on the beach. An underwater camera is great to have. For the swimming pool, they have a family area where you can bring your whole family. want kids around or you don't want a bunch of people around they have the other side of the boat that is just for adults and that's kind of nice and it's relaxing so. okay guys let's talk alcohol alcohol is 
something that you will not realize how much you are spending because they just constantly put it on your card. And um, alcohol is pretty expensive on the ship, whether you're in Mexico or anywhere, it's really expensive. So there's a few things you can do. Um, one, you're allowed to bring wine in your room. It's basically one per adult in a room, in your room. So if you and your significant other are staying in a room, that's two bottles of wine. So that kind of helps to um, another hack you can do. So all you do is take a water bottle and empty it. So make sure you had just drank the water out of it. Um, just take the top off and then use one of these so that you can get the get the alcohol in there. Um, and then you can do whatever vodka you want. Put the lid on. And then just try to line this up so it makes it look like it's sealed. Tighten it pretty tight. Um, and then they always just think it's water and we do this all the time and it works out great. And then of course, any cups that you do get on board, you can keep them. And these were kind of cool because you know, you press them and they light up. So anyways, those are pretty cool. And I thought this Corona bottle was kind of cool from there because it makes it so it doesn't foam up on you. So if you buy their pop package, um, you get to refill this with pop whenever you want. Um, the tricky thing is you have to hang on to it all the time, which kind of can get annoying, but this works out great. So you can fill it up with pop and then go back to your room and put some vodka in it. Okay, so you will not get any cell service or any internet connection or anything if you, if you do not pay for the package on the ship. Um, but it's not always the biggest deal to have that because every time they um, port and you get off the ship, you can use your phone. And so if you are fine with not having cell service or any of that, um, don't worry about it. But if you are worried, of course, you'll have to pay extra for that. So my time dining is one of my favorite things. Every time I'm about to go on a cruise, I just dream of the food. It's basically all you can eat uh, from all over. It could be Mediterranean, it could be uh, Mexican, it could be Spanish, any kind of food you desire. is in there and it's all you can eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it is amazing food. I'm not gonna say every cruise line is amazing because Norwegian kind of tastes like cafeteria food and um, Disney Cruise Line, that kind, uh, the food's not amazing. Royal Caribbean, oh, amazing. Okay, chefs from all over the world and you will be living like a king. So if you just can't make it, and you're super hungry, they do have room service there and it's not any extra and they have amazing food. They'll have cheese platters, they'll have sandwiches, they'll have, I mean, they have amazing food for room service. And then some cruises, they have like a pizza shop that's open basically the times when the other places are not open. Sometimes they stay open till one in the morning. So if you are clubbing and you get the munchies, <laughs> so many shops that you can purchase things on your cruise ship. This is what I purchased. And then we bought this at the gift shop. And the nice thing about buying alcohol at the gift shop is a lot of times you can get alcohol that you can't get other places. Um, this was a coffee liqueur and a cream. It was so tasty. If anybody knows where I can get another one of these, um, go ahead and me message below. Um, but the only bad thing is they do not let you have the liquor, even though you bought it um, on the cruise ship, they don't let you have it till like the last day.
Okay, activities. There are so many activities, I can't even name them all. And each cruise line is different, so some cruise lines have more activities than others. Like Norwegian, it has like a handful and it has main events. Um, Royal Caribbean, it has a million events all at once and you have to pick which one you want, which I kind of like. Okay, money. Should you bring money? Yes, you should bring money for one thing. Um, a lot of times at the end, if you want to tip, you can use cash or you can use your card. Um, another thing is if you get off on an island and there's something you want to purchase in a gift shop um, at a local store, they might not accept Visa or MasterCard, um, but they'll accept the cash. So yeah, I would bring cash. Make friends. Whatever you do, make friends. Why friends? For one thing, it can make your stay more enjoyable. If you need to um, share a taxi with somebody, you can share a taxi. If you don't feel very safe in a certain area, you can bring friends and um, it makes it much better. So that is one advice that somebody told me or I even started going on cruise ships is make friends. So fine dining is when you dress up can't wear flip-flops you always have to have um, dressy shoes on you can't wear shorts you always have to wear a dress it's fine dining is where you dress up and you look nice and it is amazing food it's very elegant it's very elegant atmosphere and you go in there and they give you like four different choices or maybe five different choices of entrees, desserts, um, stuff like that. And the nice thing with it is it usually comes with a, like a salad before. And if you're super hungry, they'll let you have all of them, including all the desserts. Sometimes I'll be like, ooh, that dessert looks good and that dessert lo looks good. And they'll be like, you can have them both if you want. So that is really nice. And if it is your anniversary or birthday, you can let the server know and they will bring like a cake for you. And sing happy birthday or sing an anniversary song. It's really nice. And if they do mess up, which sometime, one time, for the last cruise line, there was a piece of plastic in my salad. And because of that, the chef came out and apologized and he let us pick whatever bottle of wine we wanted. So that was really nice. So if they make any mistakes, they definitely fix it. There's always usually at least two dance clubs on board the ship, one for the teenagers, and then of course one for the adults. It's always a lot of fun and you make lots of friends on board. And they also usually pick themes every night. This is toga night, and then this is neon glow in the dark night. 
do not forget to get off the ship. Yes, there's so many things to do on the ship, but you will miss out on amazing things. If you do not get off of the ship. Just remember, make sure you are back early or on time because they will leave without you. And then always make sure you have your boarding pass along with your ID anytime you get off the ship because trust me, there was an incident that I did need both of them. The ship will leave. They will not wait for anybody. question is, should you pay for excursions that you would buy on the ship? Um, yes and no. We usually can find some amazing places to go to with just asking the locals at the family Starbucks. You can't always get everything you want, such as the luau. Every time we ported, it was like the opposite day that they had a luau on the, the different islands. So we did pay for that, which it was great, but it wasn't amazing like I pictured. It's definitely very touristy and all about money when you pay for the excursions that they offer on the ship. And if there's anything I could teach you, do not forget about the sunset. It is beautiful and breathtaking. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna end this because it is getting way too long and there's just too many tips and tricks and hacks that I probably should do another video, but I'll remember to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys, see you in the next video.